Do you think all couples go through this same weekend brouhaha? <laughs> of course. The smart ones, anyway. Or rather, the one with smart women. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. But why? Haven't you been listening, Kachi? As a couple, you do fun things most weekends, or the girl loses her man to football and beer in those soccer joints each Saturday. And in fact, in extreme scenarios, she loses her man. Period. Those soccer places have girls too. You understand? <laughs> Kachi, who plays PS5 while talking to his girlfriend on phone? Here's the thing. Relationships are like bicycles and not the electric kind on which you can just coast along using battery power. No. I mean those cranky ones that require maximum self-power to take you up a hill. How is this an allegory of my relationship, or yours for that matter? Well, there's an art to getting your trusty old bike to do your bidding. And that's madness. That chain needs to be as greased up as it needs to be. And you have to watch also for balance. Too little, you could have a stiff, non-functional mechanism that can break at any point and leave you stranded. Too much and it's too slick, resulting in the chain sliding off the... whatever those spiky things that you put the chains on are called, but you get the message. Now, about relationships. They need meticulous maintenance too. The calls, the chats, text messages, birthdays, anniversaries, and even Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's a whole regimen. But there's a silver lining in the cloud of this storm of events. They happen once annually. And then you're off the hook for 365 days. But there's one. The dreaded one. Always needs servicing. Never lets up. It's the weekend. Happening every single week. And each week, you need to come up with a fun thing to do with your significant other. Because relationships need maintenance. Hey, boyfriend. I was just going to take a shower and call you. Oh, just get me in yourself too? Yes, traffic was mad. Tell me about it. Sorry I couldn't make it to your place. I owe you a ride. <laughs> Actually, you owe me like 15 rides. The deal was one of yours and two of mine. Yeah, but didn't know what I was thinking. Who would have thought a woman would like driving as much as you do? <laughs> I mean, I thought I was serving my girlfriend Wahala with a couple idea. Any chance to renegotiate? <laughs> that ship has long sailed, babe. Not Wahala. to worry. You'll be paying it back small, small. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll be 60 before I can pay back all my ride debts. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll just get a driver. You can't afford one. Put all that money to planning for our future. Hmm. Our future, I like, I love. You know what? I love this. <laughs> <laughs> You're really silly sometimes, you know? You hear that laughter? Mm? It's worth every embarrassing moment. And since we're talking about the future, it's Friday. What are your plans, darling? Mm, I knew you were going to say that. I haven't got the foggiest idea. You know, coming up with fun stuff to do every weekend after weekend is totally burning my brains out. But you've done it for only three weekends. Four. Oh. And you try to come up with four memorable weekends back to back. <laughs> hey, I try to help. I suggested we take it turn by turn, remember? But you thought all my ideas sucked. Because they did suck, babe. What's exciting about variations of sitting at home all weekend bored stiff? What's boring about watching the Premier League? 
we spend quality time together. You know, I sample your cooking. You sample my attempts at it. <laughs> it's perfect. It's dull is what it is. Uh, uh. <laughs> you say it's perfect now, but after a month of that, it's the same you that will still start fidgeting to hang out with the boys because your girlfriend doesn't have fun or she doesn't have a fun bone in her body. So no, sir, I'll take care of my business. But it's beginning to sound like not that much fun anymore. You mean you don't enjoy them? I thought we had a blast each time. I do. I mean, we did. However, it's not such a pleasure seeing you agonize like this every Friday. <laughs> it can also be a bit tiring to hit the spots weekend after weekend. We could just take this one easy, you know? Mm-mm. Kachi, I know, guys. you still regret it if I do. I'm not losing my man to the fellas every other Saturday. Only God knows what you guys get up to on those hangout of yours. <laughs> I beg you, it's just beer and football. You know, pass that one. You are not helping. I need a killer weekend idea for us right now. And your negative energy is messing up my mojo. <sighs> okay, wait. Let me ask you this. What? Do you think all couples go through this same weekend brouhaha? <laughs> of course. <laughs> the smart ones, anyway. Or rather, the one with smart women. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) I hear you. But why? Haven't you been listening, Kachi? As a couple, you do fun things most weekends. Or the girl loses her man to football and beer in those soccer joints each Saturday. And in fact, in extreme scenarios, she loses her man. Period. Those soccer places have girls too. You understand? (laughs) Kachi, who plays PS5 while talking to his girlfriend on phone? Okay, to me, Shay, I, I have a confession. I have only three addictions, and playing video games is one of them. And the other two? Hmm. I'll leave you to figure them out over time. So these weekend getaways are just devices to make men spend time with their partners? Well, it's a part of it, not all of it. It's a way to also build real connection with each other, too. You know? A new environment, less stress... You talk, you laugh, you get to know each other. And you can't do all of that in the comfort of your home, aided by good home cooking? (laughs) Not all the time, doofus. Uh, See, uh. the allure of the exotic is quite powerful. Why do you think newlywed couples go off on honeymoon? It's like an adventure and a vacation all rolled into one. Since you both are sharing this new experience, you cannot rediscover each other every time. You see this new environment through your partner's eyes and vice versa. Okay, but what about the expense? I mean, fun every weekend means a Lena bank account by my calculations. Mm, yeah, that's a drag. But that's where creativity comes in. You know, I mustn't go to a five-star resort all the time. You'd be surprised that the small hidden place is tucked away from the world that you can find everywhere. The important thing is for both of us to share that experience. And even that is not a constant. Going away, I mean. A weekend event like a wedding, visiting family, or meeting up with old friends can be just as entertaining. (laughs) Yeah, well, that latter kind of thing is not what uh, most girls would dub the ideal weekend getaway. See, girls want mad expensive enjoyment. The more pricey the champagne, the better they like it. It's all become one high-maintenance scam. Dubai this weekend, Seychelles the next. And then everyone competing about, I treat my woman better than yours, forcing young struggling men to live beyond their means just to keep up. The whole weekend fad is ruining people left and right today. Well, if you've got it, by all means, flaunt it. Uh. If you haven't, I don't see the point in killing yourself to keep up appearances. Both partners need to understand that. Not every woman is as reasonable as you to me. Notice how I said both partners and you insist on implying guys must pay for it all. That's another thing you're getting wrong. No, I'm not. It's just the truth. Mostly that cash is going to come from a fella's pocket. Maybe. Because you men want it that way. Perhaps it feeds your self-conceived vision of what a real man should be. I, like every other woman who's truly independent... Want to pay my own way all the time. (laughs) Oh, really? Well, I I keep hearing this rumor, to be honest. But I'm yet to meet the reality, though. And I doubt if I ever will. Present company accepted, of course. (laughs) You are playing smart. 
But that doesn't get you off the hook. So in your mind, weekends are a female con. I didn't say that too. You meant it though. Go on, be a big boy. Bear all your mind. I'd miss the idea of getting away from time to time to spice up your relationship and let your hair down. That's nice. Hmm. There's a gigantic butt in the air. <laughs> <laughs> and there has to be now. It might have started all innocent, but that's no longer the case. It's been sucked into that black hole of competition that relationships and weddings or marriages have disappeared into. Mine is bigger, better, faster, and more expensive. Now on Mondays at the office, girls spend its comparing notes. <laughs> Hell had no fury like the girl whose man fails to live up to expectations, no matter how well-intentioned he is. Hmm. Not every woman is like that. I just told you that. And I just told you that you represent a negligible percentage of the 21st century young lady. The truth is that diminishing returns have set in regarding this weekend fun issue. It's a fad bearing fewer and fewer real fruits every year. Hmm. That's really dark. Mm. If I didn't know you well, I'd say you are either... <laughs> I'd say you were either the cheapest guy I ever met or the least romantic. What, 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 me? <laughs> Actually, only the latter would offend me. I'm not going to change my values to conform to the ideals of individuals who won't spend a tenth of what they ask others to spend constantly just to belong. Meaning women. Okay, but the idea that gets me is that you think you're romantic by sucking out in front of a TV all weekend and watching football. That's only how you look at it. <laughs> you don't see that I'm using the opportunity to draw you into a very important part of my world. Football is never going away, no matter how hard women wish it to. Another time, you can do the same for me by letting me into your interests, all without breaking our bank balance. That's what weekends are really about. Possibilities outside of work to catch up, build rapport, and really gel with each other. But you also know each other better when you go out. Not in a deep way. You see, those weekend activities get in the way of real communication. Yes, I agree that there are so many pleasant distractions, but you're sharing experiences, not sharing your thoughts and your heart. Hmm. Well, I do see your point. Yeah, you but should. But it's not all encompassing. I agree we should all do the weekend thing with sense. But just like your football, weekends are not going away for girls too. You men had better get with the program. No problem at all. So long as I don't meet Monday regretting anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Now that we've reached an agreement, I'm ready to listen to your low-budget ideas. Don't mention TV and football. Hmm... Movies? Hmm. What kind? And caramel popcorn is on the table too, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it's always a compromise when it works. That's the whole ethos of relationships. You do you, and you let your partner do her or him. That giving and receiving constantly, that's how you get to the next level. And the levels never cease coming if you do it right. Right. 